Look, if you're not part of the fitness industry, you are very unaware of how things work. And you might be thinking that anything you see online, as far as like physics, can be achievable, attainable through normal meal plans, workouts, and whatnot. Because again, that's all you see online. The Instagram influencers of the world, TikTok influencers of the world, they all talk about you do this and you go and get that. Uh, you put in this much work and you get this much back. And if you now are part of the fitness industry, you know that's a bunch of BS for the most part. Because at the end of the day, there's some things that they don't tell you and mainly is the use of performance enhancing supplements. Now, there's a group of people that are very vocal about it. And for the most part, they get their traction and you can give them that. Hey, you know, at least I'm honest and, you know, I'm not a role model. Like they, they kind of say those things. A few months ago, I covered one guy, uh, Mr. J. Raul or whatever his name is. I talk about him. And I also talk about Mr. Togi. You probably seen the video if you've been here. If you're still watching, thank you for watching. And by the way, we already reached 300 uh, followers, subscribers. So thank you. That means a lot to me. That means that you guys care about what I'm saying with my thick accent. So please make sure to hit the like button if you enjoy anything that I do. If you don't, dislike it. If you are a performance enhancing supplement human being that enjoy, you know, doing all those things, make sure to get out of this channel and don't watch me again because definitely I'm going to talk about you and you're probably going to get your feelings hurt because again, performance enhancing supplements will deteriorate your mind you're gonna be very ir irritable irritable in today's video i'm gonna go over uh, i'm gonna cover greg Doucette's video about this other new athlete that you know he's uh promoting the use of performance enhancing supplements and uh, i don't know you you'll see so let's get right into it ba -ba 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 -ba. A Gorilla Mind sponsored athlete goes by the name of Stanyo, who's given out more stupid advice than last time. And to me, this guy reminds me exactly of David Rao, who Young LA just happens to sponsor. Oh, let's turn. There we go. So that's the guy that um I was talking about earlier. I did cover J. Raul. It baffles me listening to these people because they are in the early 20s and something that you might not know if you are new to this or if you're in your early 20s for that matter, you are not fully developed until you are 25. If you're a man under the age of 25 years old, your brain is not fully developed and you're putting all these chemicals in your body for what reason? To look a little bit more aesthetic? Maybe, you don't know. You haven't done it natural for at least five years. Dude, you need to work out for at least five years for then you to see some sort of progress naturally. And I'm not talking about if you're 15 and then, you know, 20, that's five years. No, no, no. I'm talking about five years after your 20s because you're already halfway full development in your body, but you're not fully developed again until you're 25, at least your brain. And that's, that's a simple Google search away. I understand the education system doesn't teach you enough for you to understand about your body, but that's a thing. That's a fact. And that's why I'm making this type of content because I know a lot of people are not aware of these things. I wasn't aware of these things. Just make sure that if you're going to do something, you do it properly. And at least, at least your body is fully developed for you to understand your decisions that you're going to make turn a blind eye to the damage that these kids are doing. And so if you remember, I've already done a video on Stanio said the guy was a fake natty. And so looking at his profile updated, right now, fitness model, age 23, natural pro bodybuilder. Does anyone out there believe that this guy is actually natural? He's literally promoting the use of yeah. performance and anti- Yeah, so see, that, that's the kind of stuff. Like, they're doing this uh, comedic kind of persona that at the end of the day, how different is that from someone that is doing you know, that Breaking Bad thing, like how different is that? But no, again, you got kids under 25 doing this, seeing these people getting the sponsorships with all these companies and getting all this recognition and thinking, wow, if I just do that, I can get to that level and I don't even have to find a real job, real work. And of course, uh, you might say, or Fit Panda, Victor, aren't you promoting him as well because you're talking about him? Sure, yeah, but you know, for every yin you have, you have to have a yang. I'm trying to make sure that you know that people like that exist. So then if you come across with someone like that in real, you know, in the real world, you understand where this is coming from. Awareness is the number one key. So if you know how to handle that, then you'll be able to 
I don't know, come across as a better person eventually. But at the end of the day, this is for the moment. This is their decision and they're doing that because they want to do it. But think about this. You're doing things now, if you're in your early 20s, that are not going to be helpful for you in your late 30s, late 40s, late 50s. And if you have some sort of like, I don't know, death wish, like, sure, yeah, go ahead and do it. But don't promote that online. Don't you come here and tell people, hey, you know, um, I do this, I do that. I'm getting all these sponsorships. Use my code to get this, this, and the third. And then you'll be getting money out of that because you are promoting. Like, that, that, that's such a bizarre idea that platforms are allowing this type of content to uh, be pushed around. Because believe me, like, these people have over 100,000 followers, like, over a million people watching their content and at least one percent of them will definitely buy stuff from them and if you do the stats and the math find out that at least two or three are gonna not be here for a long time because they follow whatever their personal influencer famous influencer was saying so that's my problem that's where the problem lies and that's why we need to do something about it syringe over the mouth Shh, don't tell anyone i'm a fake natty don't tell anyone i'm going to be using this to inject Making it seem cool. Look, I'm a badass. I break the law. Ooh, look at this. Again, showing off the physique, looking incredible with the don't tell anyone. Remember, I'm a pro natural bodybuilder. Look at the body. I literally cannot be more excited for this. So like hypothetically, if you guys wanted to get, you know, MT2 Milana tan. IGF-1, TB500, MT2, BPC, AOD, 5 amino. And the list goes on and on. And so remember, some of these items are in fact banned by WADA. And so if you use them, you're not half natty. You're totally not natty. All right, you all right. Literally... so let's, let's, let's go over that part, okay? So what Greg is talking about, WADA, this is for like people are into bodybuilding. People are trying to be part of this world of, you know, competing and whatnot. Even for those that are trying to do it natural, right? Because, you know, at the end of the day, they're probably doing some specific things that are not traceable in your body. They're putting stuff in their body that are not traceable and then they call themselves natty. Those are fake natty. So that's another topic for another day. But uh, that's banned by the organization that is saying, hey, if you have that in your body, you are not natural. Therefore, whatever competition that you're trying to get part of, you're going to be disqualified. And we're going to find out later. Let's say you win, right? Like Ryan Garcia, didn't he win like recently? And uh, they found some stuff in his body. Right, like that happened. And now he's in a situation that, oh, what am I going to do? But uh, at the end of the day, guys, like you need to be very informed, whatever you are trying to compete. If you're trying to compete natural, right? You need to do it properly, right? Read the list of things that you are supposed to not have in your body. So therefore you don't have that problem later on. The amount of people that tell me online and they go in my comment section on TikTok or uh, Instagram reels and say, hey, you're just hating, you know, you don't care. Look, th this is the kind of people, right? People with that type of, like 17 years old, like, come on, man. Like, of course you don't understand the ins and the outs of the world because all you see is numbers, follower numbers, subscriber numbers, like, oh yeah, I'm doing all this stuff. Look at the titles of, of these videos. Like that's, that's what sells, apparently. That's what these platforms are pushing. And all I'm trying to do here guys is to give you an alternative to that. I, I'm already in my mid thirties. I'm way past that time of like, you know, hanging out and doing things care carelessly. It's just a matter of, I wish someone was more uh, talkative about these things because all the big influencers, the one in the fitness world, are all on PEDs. Egg, uh, freaking George Wall, everyone. And it's okay, right? They are not promoting it. But again, they're not saying otherwise. At least Greg says sometimes like, hey, you know, you should not do that. Like I did it, but you should not do that. Okay, cool. Uh, whatever. Uh, I haven't done it. I haven't done it ever. So that's why I'm trying to make sure that you understand there are people here in the world that are getting the physique, are getting the results all natural. With what? A proper diet, proper training uh, routine, and that's it. You know, sleep and all of the above. Like, you know that. If you're watching by now, if you're watching this video all the way to, th to this point, you know exactly what you need to be doing to get the physique that you want. I'm definitely not going to change the mind of someone in the early, in the late teens, right? Like a teenager. That's not my goal. You know, natural selection. But the, the ones that are in the late, early, mid twenties are like on the fence. 
Yes, yes, you. Yeah, you can get this naturally. You don't have to do all these pathetic enhancing supplements for you to get to the next level. That's all I have for today, guys. Stay natural. See ya.